What? Stay salty, my friends. Hi, I'm John, and I am one of three nerds of N9000+. Plus. Welcome to the first ever N9000 Plus product review. Today, I'll be reviewing for you the Bug Assault 2.0. Okay, so here's the thing about the Bug Assault. I have wanted this for years. I saw a commercial with it, and I thought, I mean, what's, what's better in life, right, than to load a gun full of salt and use it to blow away your insect enemies. So I've been wanting one for a really long time and I, I keep kind of uh, asking my wife if it's cool if I get one. They're a little pricey. Now, this one's actually um, down a bit because they have the 3.0 out, but this one had the better reviews. So what I decided was that I wanted to get one and she decided I wasn't going to. And about four years later, the other day, <laughs> she bought it for me on a whim and it's the best birthday present I've ever gotten. Kind of want to tell you guys a little bit about how awesome this is and what I've been doing with it. Obviously, I've been shooting bugs with it, primarily flies. You can shoot all kinds of stuff, but their website will pretty much say shoot flies. I love that they make it kind of look like a Nerf gun because people think it's a Nerf gun, but it's got these really cool, I don't know if the camera can pick it up because it's black on black. It's pictures of flies all, all down the base, which I really like a lot. The sights are actually pretty effective. They work really well. It's got a nice little warning here. Do not shoot face or eyes. And I have not shot anyone's face or eyes, but having tested this near point blank on my foot, I can tell you, do not shoot at someone's face or eyes. It is relatively painful and I wouldn't recommend it. So you have a basic like shotgun pump cocking mechanism, which I'm not gonna do because it's very recently been loaded and I would probably expel salt all over the table. So I'm not gonna do it. But the other side has a safety. This is the only complaint I have about this gun. You have to trigger the safety every single time you shoot. And because of its location, I do it with my right thumb. I was out using it a lot one day because we were having a fly problem and I don't know if the camera can see but I tore my finger up pretty badly on it. It's a sharp little tip of plastic. That's my only complaint. But I also probably engaged it 50 times in a few minutes. So if you're just using it like a normal human being and not like me, then you'll probably be fine. So that's kind of a neither here nor there sort of complaint. But that is the only actual complaint I have. I really like how this weapon operates. I saw a couple of reviews online that said that it jammed or stopped working. I think they probably didn't put salt in it. A lot of people in the comments ask if they can put other stuff in it. The answer is no, don't do that. Salt is very fine. It's the perfect material for this gun. Speaking of the salt, this is the ammunition container. It's a little clear plastic pod with a bug on it, which I like. Just pop this baby open, reach for your handy dandy regular table salt. Please don't use coarse sea salt. It will jam your gun. And then you just pour it right in. If you fill it to the top, like I do, you should get about 50 shots out which is pretty substantial considering that's not a lot of salt. So when I first got it, pretty much all I've done is kill flies and the occasional spider. I actually don't like to kill spiders, but if they're in my home, I might. My wife would say that her biggest complaint is that she's constantly having to sweep up salt because I do try to get the salt up, but I inevitably miss some and then she steps in it and there's salt on the floor. So if I had to rate the bug of salt, I would rate it probably an even 8,000 out of over 9,000. It's a wonderful thing, but the reality is if it gets a little chilly and there aren't bugs, there's nothing to shoot at and I kind of want to use it all the time now. There are some moments where it's a little brutal because I've managed to miss a few times, but hit just enough to severely injure a fly who was then flopping around. I kind of felt bad about it, if I'm being perfectly honest, but didn't stop me using it. We will have the link to this bug assault for you to purchase in the description. We hope you have a great time. We'd love to see videos of you using the bug assault because it's awesome. If you can shoot in slow motion, even better. So don't forget to like this video, comment down below on what you thought of the video and the product itself. If you have one, let us know how you like it. If you have the 3.0, the next version up, since I only have had the 2.0, let me know what you think of the 3.0. Maybe I'll buy that one also. Subscribe to our channel to get our videos as they come. As you know, every Friday we release a new video. But if you can't wait until then, we have one for you right here. What am I doing? My job. It's not a tumor. It's not at all. <laughs> I told you I was going to give you options. Top that. Top that. <laughs>